G'day, Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, um, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a little bit more informal. I've replaced my current one of my switches, network switches, with a Ubiquiti um, Edge switch. And the reason I did that is because it's got power over Ethernet, and I've got a number of security cameras, and I was using um, PLE inject injectors previously, which are a bit of a pain. Uh, but now I can plug the cameras directly into the Edge switch, which makes things a little bit tidier. Now, the hassle with I found with it is that the edge switch sounds like a jet engine. Uh, it is incredibly loud. It had um, these little uh, four centimeter fans in it, and they're quite quite chunky uh, and quite quite powerful, so blowing quite a lot of air. And I swapped them out for some smaller ones, uh, but it was still sounding very loud. I think it might be the grill, um, the fan grill, that's uh, creating a lot of turbulence and a lot of noise. So. I might have a go at um, either cutting that out or something. I'm not sure. Um, also, that the fans are still in there. It's running a bit hot, but we'll uh, look at that shortly. Uh, and so I might just take the fans out completely and see if the, the airflow is a little bit better. Because uh, I've got it on its side so that the heat rises um, and uh, from the from uh, one side uh, entering in the bottom and out the top. So it, it's using convection. To cool, so it's, it's currently passively cooled, which is kind of nice and silent, which is great, but also quite hot. So, what I can do is I can tell it into it. Let's do a default password. Oops. Okay, there we go. And enter the enable command, um, and we see what the so the default prompt, and then we've got this kind of elevated privilege, privileges prompt, and go show environment, and it displays the um, temperature sensor data, and we can see that it's reached uh, up to seventy six degrees, which is a bit hot, I suspect. Um, I did a bit of googling; a lot of people have actually have higher temperatures than that, but um, I am a bit more comfortable with it being closer to its uh, original temperature, more like um, 40 to 40, 50, 40, 50 degrees, 60 degrees at the most. So um, it's running sort of 10 to 20 degrees hotter than it was, which is a little bit high. But I thought, well, I could potentially monitor this um, if I could write a application in Delphi to be able to um, tell it in and grab this information. I couldn't find a, like a REST API for it. So um, uh, I thought telling it would probably work. You have unsaved changes? No. So I wrote this telnet sample. And originally I was using a telnet client, and I basically just couldn't get it to work. Um, it, I, I think I was using it correctly, but uh, it was just not displaying uh, any information. So I eventually gave up that and went with a uh, TCP client. So T and TID. TCP client, and um, you can see I've set the the host, and it's a sort of two second timeout. I forget what the original default timeout was, and um, yeah, telnet port and so on, and I just called client. So to log into the edge switch, um, we can see I'm clearing the some of these log windows, and we connect. And I've scrapped this sort of uh, temporary variable uh, so that I don't have to write all of that. I could, could rename it H or something like that to make it a little bit um, more useful, but a little bit shorter. Uh, but we see I, I wait for a uh, user prompt and then enter the user, wait for the password prompt, enter the password, wait for the um, sort of standard prompt, and then issue the enable command. Wait for the uh, sort of elevated privilege privileges prompt, and then do the uh, show environment. And then I basically wait for that to appear. And then once that's appeared, I then read every line uh, into a string list. Um, and this is doing uh, read read line, and it is this is the this is a line feed character. It's the, the default line ending, and I've got a hundred millisecond timeout, and I just keep reading until uh, read from this timed out. I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it, but uh, it seems to work pretty good. And I basically write that response to the console, 
I then have some uh, mechanism to parse the response, um, disconnecting, and this input buffer uh, dot clear. So I was, I was disconnecting and then trying to reconnect again, and it would say it was already connected. And this is because the input buffer um, still had information in it, and that causes the um, TCP client to think it's still connected. Uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure why, but and then we're displaying the sensor data, and then we're just saying done in the log. And the log window, I just I've just um, mapped. If we look at the TCP client, all the events um, to kind of see what's going on. I, I probably don't need the information anymore. It was more just for uh, debugging purposes. So the I created a bunch of well, I suppose we should look at the pass uh, pass response, and we see it's just grabbing. I've got this um sensors which is an array of sensor data and I'm just read I've got this method called read from string and it grabs the so the um, sensors go from I, uh, 0 to 7 and I just add eight lines to each so that it lines up um, with you know this is the first one and so on so uh, the Sensor, it, sensor data is just an array with some uh, fields in it. Uh, the interesting ones are the description and temperature, and perhaps max temperature as well. Uh, state, I haven't seen anything other than, is it normal? Yep, normal. I could we look at the manual to find out uh, what other states are possible. But the read from string, basically I just create a, a string list. I assign that line to the comma text property. Now, by default, the comma text uh, breaks also on spaces as well as commas and so we can see that um, it'll break on each of these these gaps so basically I'm grabbing you know the the sensor number which is this here and then the temperature uh, is field so this is field zero one two and so on and I just fill those in so it's it's pretty simple and then to display the sensor data um, you know, I just clear, clear the memo, and for every sensor, I am just um, adding the description and temperature. So let's watch this application in action. And there we go. So um, I'm reading the temperature data from this, the uh, switch, and then that's the the information there. So I've, I've I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it next. I might graph it or um, have some sort of thing. I've, I've got this kind of thought in my mind of doing some sort of home automation display um, where it shows uh, various information about the property, you know, various um, cameras and uh, other information, um, how hard computers are working and that kind of thing. And um, yeah, having the uh, switch temperature and possibly other, other things as well, um, I could monitor the ports to see if they're active and um, know that you know if uh, certain devices are on or not but anyway that's that's uh, for a later project but I thought this was an interesting application uh, of using Delphi to uh, extract data from a device and telnet a lot of a lot of devices support telnet so um, uh, network devices uh, I was originally originally going to do it with SSH but um, I, the, oh, it's not actually not currently enabled on the switch, and I need to upload um, certificates and things like that, which I'm, I just sort of uh, can't be bothered. Uh, Tell me it is uh, a lot easier to understand anyway. So um, I hope you found this somewhat interesting. I, um, I'm probably going to remove the fans altogether and see if that improves airflow slightly. And um, if not, I'm going to play around. I might put the fans rather than being at the top, so they're blowing air out. So the noise, no so also the noise is being blown out of the case. I could put them um, in the bottom end of the switch and blow air up, which won't be as efficient, but it will be a lot quieter because the noise will be be, be um, more inside the case rather than outside. Um, and of course, I could also slow the fans down as well. Put a put a resistor and what have you. If you look at the, there's there's no way to manually. Set the fan speed. It's currently on fan speed level three. Um, it goes from one to three, I think. Uh, so it's going as going as fast as it can currently. Uh, but there's no fans plugged in, so it's not doing very much. So 
I, I will continue to play. I think it's um I think Delphi's wonderful to be able to write these little very simple applications. Um I I yeah, take out all the debugging information. There's actually very little code code involved in um actually getting information and I can probably get lots more information as well. Um I could probably also log into my I've got our VDSL here. I could probably log into that and look at the VDSL statistics and things like that. Um and yep, that's it for me today. Um, I will hopefully do some more videos today, but um, this is uh, Alistair Christie signing off. Um, I hope you found it interesting and I will probably continue to play around with um, doing sort of telemetry type things into devices uh, using Delphi. So thanks for watching. I'm Alistair Christie.